In this screencast, we are going to discuss a special feature that can arise called degeneracy that's usually related to the presence of symmetry in a system. To demonstrate this, let's revisit our particle in a two-dimensional box. Recall that the solution to the Schrodinger equation gives us psi of xy is equal to 2 over the square root of L1 times L2 times sine of n1 pi x over L1 times sine of n2 pi y over L2 with our independent quantum numbers n1 and n2. And this gives the following corresponding energy levels E. Let's slightly change our system now so that the length of L1 and L2 are the same. And let's call this length L. So now our particle is in a square two-dimensional box and our wave equation and corresponding energy levels become the following where we have substituted in length L. By requiring that the box is now a square, we have created a system that has inherent symmetry along the x and y axes. Let's take a look at the first few states and see what consequences arise due to the symmetry. Let's start with the n1 equals 1 and n2 equals 1 state. If we take a look at our wave function for this state, we find that it has the following form, and its corresponding energy level is equal to h squared over 4ml squared. Next, let's take a look at the n1 equals 1 and n2 equals 2 state. This state has the following wave function, and the corresponding energy is 5h squared over 8ml squared. Now, an interesting feature arises if we take a look at the n1 equals 2 and n2 equals 1 state, which has the following wave function. The energy for this state ends up being 5h squared over 8ml squared, which is the same energy as the previous state. So even though these are different states with different wave functions, they correspond to the same energy. This feature is called degeneracy, and in this specific case, we would say that the state with energy 5h squared over 8ml squared is doubly degenerate. More generally, if n wave functions correspond to the same energy, then we would say that the state is n-fold degenerate. We've now demonstrated the concept of degeneracy and how it can arise due to the symmetry of a system. As we will see, degeneracy plays a very important role in quantum statistical mechanics.